Well, here we are again, Kabbalah. Here we are again. I see, uh... <sighs> but easy, man. You, you fucking ruined my life, man. You. Here I am. Not sure what happened next. They're waiting for somebody to serve me something. Waiting. Okay, I've never come across anybody across the law. I've never come across in any way. Oh, I'm gonna fucking blah, blah. I'm gonna fucking blah, blah. Okay, I, like yourself, was working on becoming successful. I, like yourself, was working on becoming somebody respected in the community. I, like yourself, was working on developing my own company. It wasn't easy. It was not easy at all. Okay? Just because someone's black doesn't mean they're different. Just because someone's fat doesn't mean they're different. Just because somebody has a disability doesn't mean they're different. Just because somebody is gay doesn't mean they're different. These are all, this is an elementary conversation. Okay, because my, my brain is injured. So it's very difficult to get to where I was at. Above and beyond where I am right now. Will I ever be, will I ever be able to get back to where I was in 2010? Maybe not. Maybe not. It's very, very difficult for me. I have a child here. Can't go anywhere. Can't do anything. Okay? I've done hundreds of videos. Okay? I don't want to go out there and disrespect someone's reputation. Okay? It's more blah, 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 blah. That's my life right now. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? If I had a fucking no legs and somebody helped me walk so that I can learn how to walk myself or learn how to communicate or, or, or travel with someone's help. Okay? That's a physical description of somebody trying to become somebody by the help of somebody else. Physically. Does that make any sense to you? Maybe not. It's probably because my brain's all fucked up. Okay? My point is... Mentally, I think... Differently. Okay? And I don't care what people think about me anymore. I don't care. I don't give a shit what people think about me. Oh, this guy's Zylo, he's doing this, he's doing that, he's doing this, he's doing that. Okay? I do not want to be fucking homeless on the street looking for my next meal. I see on your Facebook page nothing. Nothing about your business. Nothing. Nothing about what you've done. Yeah, 2016, 2015. Yeah, yeah, good. This was happening, that was happening, this and that, this and that. Okay? As of right now, I'm stuck. And it seems like you were stuck. Okay? I don't want to have anybody be stuck. Okay? Oh, come on, your life. I had a life. It's 2017 now. In 2005, I was a realtor. Okay? I was using the example over and over and over again. It's not easy for me to just do it like that. Okay? And that's supposed to be my fault, and you took full advantage of that. Full advantage of that. Okay? Your client, Lois Marlene Haynes, she's finished. I said that on all the videos, she's finished. Okay? Do I want to say that about anybody? This is my mother's sister. Okay? I've seen people on the street homeless. Okay? I've seen people on the street homeless. Okay, and today, today, believe it or not, I was at the bus station. Okay? 
And the machine wasn't working to get a ticket. Someone gave me a ticket. A free ticket to get on the bus. Just out of the kindness of my heart. So what did I do? The money I had to give for the ticket, I gave that dollar fifty to a homeless guy. Okay? I gave that guy who was homeless a dollar fifty. He wasn't bothering me. He didn't do a thing. Just walking on by. He was struggling. Gave my dollar fifty. So thank you. Now that's simple in life. Okay? So Not to berate somebody because they're homeless. Berate somebody because they're black. Berate somebody because they're gay or fat. Okay? Or because they're poor. Or because they're uneducated. Okay? It's about helping others. You're an attorney, Kim Pollock. You are, were, is, am, whatever. You have a legal degree to practice law. I don't. And to think that you can fucking go out of your way to have me impersonate you is unbelievable. To have me impersonate you. Okay? Again, had I said in that text message, oh yeah, this is Ken Pollock, you would have your your wheels rolling like crazy. Oh, yeah, put him in prison. He impersonated me. Okay? Wasn't easy out there. Okay? It is so hard for me right now. I haven't left this house since I went on the bus this morning. Okay? To get my mail downtown. Okay? Except for you and the law firm, no one knows where I live. Okay? All my mail goes to 912J Street. So what did I do? I got on the bus, went downtown, got my mail, came back. That was the extent of my life. Today, my wife goes to work. And what do I do? Zero. Zero. Oh, we can watch our YouTube. Oh. Yeah, we, we can play with games. Oh, I can play with my child. There's more than life out there than violating the law and destroying people's lives. I'm waiting for you to serve me. Serve me paper, something. Okay? You are my life. You are my... You are the backbone of my life. Any judge will see all these videos. They're genuine. They're not threatening. They're not, I'm gonna do this to you. Okay? They're talking from me and my heart. Speaking to you as I would speak to my neighbor. My neighbor, I mean, no mean do I see my, to my neighbor. Oh, you motherfucking, get out of my fucking face, you fucking neighbor. No. I respect my neighbors. They respect me. Okay? Some of this makes sense to you. Some of this makes no sense to you. Okay? That's my problem, not your, yours, Ken Pollock. You didn't have a brain injury? I did. Okay, but now what you did to me is your problem and mine. Which means this is, this is a marriage. This is a marriage between you and I. Okay? A marriage. Very difficult for me to survive in the world when I am disinherited from my grandfather's, my grandfather's estate in excess of $50 million. And I'm pretty sure you know about RDR Seashore LLC. Have a nice day.